Disclaimer. The following list is 100% based on facts and is totally not opinion based. For hundreds of years, scientists from across the planet poured in their sweat and tears to solve the world's biggest mystery. What are the best abilities in Balloon's TD battles? And just recently groundbreaking discoveries have been made on the five strongest abilities, and as a fellow scientist it is my job to let you all know the inside scoop on it. So let us not waste any time unlike what many other people do in order to stretch out their video and start off by revealing best ability number 5. The Glue Striker. This ability is absolutely godlike if you want to wipe your screen clear of balloons. The only reason it's at number 5 instead of number 1 is because it does not affect Moabs. But it makes up for that weakness by having the power to slow and pop an infinite amount of balloons. Yes, you heard that right, infinite. No amount of grouped greens, or even comma regrow reds are a match for this unstoppable ability. Hell, take for example this insanely clumped ceramic rush, that not even a freaking sun god can beat for crying out loud. On the other hand you can get just a handful of glue strikers for the same price and just watch as they slowly rain death on those poor balloons. So remember to think again next time someone rushes you with a large cluster of balloons. At number 4 scientists have concluded that the dartling gun ability, Rocket Storm, deserves this spot on the list, simply because it is a better version of the glue striker. The only disadvantage between them is the rocket storm doesn't slow down balloons, but who cares about the slow when you can just obliterate the balloons in the blink of an eye, without even a need for those constantly firing rockets, so it's best to point them away from the track so they don't disturb the rocket storm. Bonus points for being able to affect Moabs also. It takes a while but it is well worth the wait when all of the Moabs and subsequent balloons get tracked at once. Number 3, The Support Chinook. A very rarely used ability, and an underrated one at that. First of all it has three unique abilities, the only ability in the game to even have more than one effect. The first ability is it drops a crate full of cash, and it's a lot of cash, ranging from 1500 to 2500, so after picking up a few crates you can go from this, to this. Its second ability is even better. It grants an amount between 50 to 75 lives for every life crate picked up, and oftentimes it can be game-changing. Take a look at this game for example. I'm living by the thread of a needle with one life, but after picking up the package I shoot up to a safer amount of lives. Soon after this move ends up being quite critical as I accidentally let a red balloon slip on by, which would have spelled death had I not used the Chinook ability. So now you see why scientists dig this ability so much. But wait, there's one more perk about the Chinook, and that's in the fact that you can reposition your towers for no cost. How sweet is that? Ever had the moment where your blood was boiling cause your ice tower was in the way of your blade shooter, or when you're a tornado wizard kept fucking your shit up? Well not to worry. With the Chinook repositioning you can tell your towers to GTFO your lawn and move them to some place where they'll never be used again, just to teach them a lesson on ruining your balloon popping. The Sniper ability, or the Supply Drop, has been labeled at number 2 for the best abilities. Its description states that just like the Chinook, it will drop a crate worth a certain amount of cash, however this amount is only between 500 and 1500. So what the hell, are these scientists high on crack or what, how can this ability possibly be better than the Chinook if it only does one third of the things the Chinook does, and isn't even as effective at that? That was exactly my thoughts until it was discovered that there is a secondary effect upon activating supply drop. Just take a look now, there is an extra sniper here that previously was not there. So it seems that once you collect the supply crate, you get cash along with a second supply drop sniper. You know what that means. Two snipers can turn into four. Then four can turn into eight. And just like that, the whole screen is filled with snipers. Absolutely mind-blowing ability if you ask me, as you have the potential to turn thousands of dollars into millions within minutes.
But there is another ability even better they say, that does an even better job than the sniper. Number one will absolutely shock you and render you breathless. And it is. The Banana Farm. Unbeknownst to many, the fourth tier monkey bank actually has a passive ability, but because nobody freaking uses the bank in battles it remained a complete secret until one day someone decided to test out the monkey bank in a high stakes competitive match. And the results were shocking. It turns out that whenever a round starts, the monkey bank passive causes all current banana farms on the field to explode and unload a frenzy of bananas, essentially giving you free money for simply having a specific tower on the map. The reason this is better than the sniper is because upgrading to the monkey bank gives you two sources of income, the bank balance generation per round and the explosion of bananas from your normal farms, whereas the sniper only gives you the money crate and another tower. However you know the saying, money over mind, hence the banana farm ability takes the number one spot. And there we have it ladies and genitals, please take a moment to appreciate the hard work our fellow scientists have done over the past millennium to make this video all possible. Hopefully you will use this newly found knowledge to impress your friends, oh wait, you probably don't have any, so I guess you can just smash some kids in yellow stadium with it. Anyways, one like equals one more scientist hired to research the cure for X sarcasm detector deficiency disorder, which is probably better known and remembered in its acronym form. So thank you for watching, and have a sarcas, I mean sarcophagus day.